the day two broadcast of the Hearthstone Thai Major. We're here in the Pantop Esports Arena in Bangkok. I'm Maru, and with me is Panthera this time around to bring you the lower bracket <laughs> semis, I believe, between uh, Warwind and uh, Leda. Leda and Warwind. And yeah, good thing that you're actually casting here now because we have an Australian player. Yeah, he's actually surprising to me that he's, he's gotten this far. Um, we've seen him a few times in the, in the ANZ, ANZ scene. He's, he's gotten to the preliminaries before, but he hasn't really made any big splashes just yet. So this is really kind of like a breakout performance for him. He just had to fly abroad. Yeah, right? <laughs> Take that risk. <laughs> yeah, it's actually nice. Um, he seems like to be, there's only, there was only two Aussies, right? It was Edward mm -hmm. Elric and BH Warwind. So this is our event schedule for Right now, we are doing the lower bracket semifinals, followed by the lower bracket finals, and followed by the grand finals. So, oh my gosh, three more matches left, pretty much. Yeah. Both these guys are actually guaranteed $500 in, in prize pool money. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. But uh, they definitely want to make it to, to the big money, you know, the $1,000 right. and the 1000 Got to be one. Oopsie. My necklace is off backwards. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I wanted to say whoever wins this match faces Chonger, mm -hmm. who is also in the lower brackets, but yeah, he's waiting. So whoever wins this faces him, and then whoever wins that goes into the grand finals to face off Shy. Yeah. And if Shy wins that, that's the end of it. But <laughs> if they beat Shy, Shy has a chance to um, come back and take the title still. Yeah, everybody gets two lives. It's double elimination tournament. Mm -hmm. So That's uh, probably easier to say that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's definitely an uphill battle for the guys down here in lower bracket. Um, having to, f to play the same guy twice in a row. I know. Who's made it all the way through the upper bracket is a pretty <laughs> tall order and, and is quite intimidating, but you just got to take it one series at a time. It looks like we've got both bands up here for the players. It's both shamans getting banned out. No shamans here today. No. It's always, always safe to ban um, a shaman or a warrior, it seems. Mm -hmm. The go-to. Shaman stone, warrior stone. As you can see, this is Warwind here on the camera. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for his match. Or This is Leda, of course. We just actually saw Leda earlier in the last match. Yeah, the crowd is going wild for him. The local Thai player has a lot of support <laughs> on his side. I know. I could actually. It's crazy actually being here. Uh, at the event, the atmosphere is super wild, it's loud. It's actually really nice to experience a live Hearthstone tournament at least once, you know? Yeah, the Thai cast was actually really riling up the crowd. He's They're really loud. We, yeah. need, we need that type of energy over here. <laughs> well, let's try and bring it. <laughs> yeah, so what do we have for the decks here? Anything? Um, w well, we know... Well. If chat's still been around, but mm -hmm. if you have, if you just got into the stream, you um, let me tell you what Leta has. He has Druid with no Yog. Um, he doesn't like Yog, I guess. He doesn't like his RNG with Yog. And then his Rogue is the classic miracle Rogue with no questing adventure. Mm -hmm. And his Warlock is just a, a zoo. No new, no new cards here, really. Yeah, not really. I mean, Warren, on the other hand, has a, a Discord Warlock. <laughs> Are you okay there? Yeah, I got stuck in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> so the, war the the warlock is a discard discard warlock, yep. And um, his warrior is a dragon, right? And his mage is a tempo mage. Anything um, <coughs> anything different about his decks that you notice? So um, he's actually running one. Uh oh. Excuse me. No Should problem. We? Just go ahead. <laughs> I think um, it's more or less uh, the standard Dragon Warrior and the normal Tempo Mage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, he's running the one po Power Overwhelming mm -hmm. and replacing it with one uh, Forbidden Ritual, mm -hmm. which is a little different for a Discord Warlock. Right. Definitely different. No, no, uh, does he have like, um, how do you call it, Soul Fires? Yes, he does. Okay. So here's game number one. We have Leda with... <laughs> The zoo, his zoo, and BH Warwind with uh, his tempo mage. Oh, wow. Two Voidwalkers in Leta's hand. It's actually a pretty good starting hand for Leta. Well, uh, 
uh, Warwind, like uh, his fellow Australian, is running two loot hoarders in his tempo mage. Oh my goodness, really? So yeah. these Australians like the loot hoarders yeah. in their tempo mage. But he's not running any babbling books. Okay. And he's running one called Sorcerer. So that's a little twist up from the usual. Definitely. He's going to get rid of this uh, juggler right away. He doesn't want this juggler to do any th throwing of knives here. And just play on curve. Councilman comes down on turn three. Hmm. Can't see the card. Okay, he was, he was holding the coin. So kind of awkward. Uh, he's, think he's actually thinking about coining the barns here. I think that's why he was holding onto the coin. I think it's just really scary to leave the, the councilman up like this. Yeah, he's exactly. Trying to, he's trying to figure out a way to get rid of that, but he knows he can at this stage. Yeah. He's going to have to at least um, put out a minion then and deal with it later. Coining the barns is not so bad. But uh, his turn four would have to be like to do? Forgotten what Torch to and do? like Mirror Image maybe. Okay, so he decides to use the Forgotten Torch on the Void Walker. And that's gonna be that. And save the coin later. Because, you know, the Temple Mage definitely values the coin. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we go. Huge buff with the Forbidden Ritual on the Councilman. So this is why. Um, okay, sorry, no, no. This is normal. This is Leda's normal zoo. I don't know. For some r weird reason, I thought it was a discard. But yeah, it's just a normal zoo. Definitely got to get rid of this uh, councilman. So, fireball is going is great there. Nice top deck. Oh, defender Vargas, great draw here to try and buff up some of his one ones. Mm. Or he could choose to yeah, it's either defender Argus and the Voidwalker. Yeah, I think what Leto was thinking is that he wants to buff up some of his 1-1s one -one so that Warwind doesn't like arcane missiles or um, some crazy swing like Flame Waker and a bunch of spells and just clears his whole board. I think we are going to Does he even have room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's only got actually room for for one more minion, so he's gonna have to suicide something before he can play his second minion this turn. Mm. Let me put the the juggler first, and then the wolf. But then, I mean, leaving Barnes isn't that scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could actually ignore it, but then since it made the juggle... Oh, yeah, nice juggle. He just go face now with the rest of his minions instead of... Yeah. Turned out great for Leda. Yeah, and he has a good shot to play Dudenguard next turn. Mm, still no Arcane Blast for Warwind. And still no Flame Waker, but... He's gonna get rid of the other juggler now before it does a ton of work. Ooh. Actually, he can play all his minions. Yeah. Wow, that worked out perfectly for Leda. So sick, and is this gonna be it? Is that lethal right there? Yep. Perfectly played. Yep, oh, man. because he gets the dire wolf buff. Easy life with the zoo. Yeah, Let's this see. is just an example of when zoo just works perfectly. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we didn't see like any flame waker, so mm -hmm. no arcane blast. It, yeah, it, just, it was tough for the mage there. So that's gonna be one win to Leda. And uh, yeah, Warwind can still make a comeback. Of course, it's mm. just one. It's just a one win. Yeah, just a little unfortunate with the the tempo mage. The cards he had just really weren't. Mm -hmm. The ones that he wanted, you know, and once the board grows like that for the zoo, you, you definitely want a big Flame Waker turn to, to cut yeah. the numbers down. At least shrink the board a little bit, because once they overwhelm you like that, there's just no coming back. Yeah, exactly. Or even um, 
he just like top decked a, um, a flame strike. Yeah, but what turn did he actually win on? Or did you see? Maybe it was I like. I think it was turn seven. Okay. Yeah, it was a, it's too it's too late also. Yeah. And it wouldn't have killed the Doom Guard. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, um, we got more ma uh, more exciting decks to come. What else do we have here? Uh, I just feel like we've been seeing a lot of the si similar decks <laughs> in this tournament. Mm. Nothing. No. Well, the well, the creative ones actually were just left in the dust. They yeah, didn't do I mean, so well. I mean, think I think Leta's decks are kind of interesting. Like running a druid without Yogg is so ballsy. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> and then his. Uh, is Miracle Rogue? He's running one Violet Teacher and one Earthen Ring. Oh here. yes, because so no questing. Yeah, that's a pretty big twist as well. It's kind of old school. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we got that. Seems to be working out for Letta. I mean, mm. uh, like I said earlier, with when I was casting with TJ, he won with these decks in the Southeast Asia Summer Preliminaries. Oh, okay. So he's just he like, does. yeah, he's like, this deck worked for me. I'm gonna use it again. And then here, look, we can see the crowd. It's a ton of people. And yeah. all supporting, you know, their fellow locals. Go Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of free merch being uh, handed out as well. One of the perks of coming to these, one of these events. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, guys, don't remember, tweet to Hearth, F tweet out to Hearth SEA Major if you have any um, Predictions of who will win, mm. favorite moments, or yeah, anything hard to see major related. Also, a big one that the StarCraft 2 tournaments like to show is uh, people's setups for how they how they're watching the tournament at home. Some people have like you know, three massive uh, TV screens on their wall. And stuff. This is how I'm watching yeah, the hard to see major. Yeah, my setup's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, join the conversation. Do you know anything about Warwind? Well, his uh, Dragon Warrior, it looks pretty standard, except he's running two Ravaging Ghouls, which is something people have been cutting down to one these days. Could be good against... Ah, um, uh, like t like Shows. Sh I think Show is the one who started that, mm. running only one ghoul. Uh, but that was back when the meta was, wasn't was filled, with the ladder wasn't filled with so many zoos. Mm. And then when Karazhan came out with the discard zoo cards, we mm -hmm. started seeing more, um, you know, zoos, discard zoos on the ladder. And then I feel like you should put back the <laughs> the double ravaging ghouls. Yeah, it could be very useful. Yeah, I mean, there was like half of, like I think 50 people brought um, zoo, or yeah, zoo in this tournament. Zoo, discard zoo, pretty much. Well, here we go, game number two. Leda with his m miracle rogue, the classic miracle rogue. Yeah against Warwind's Temple Mage again. Maybe this time Warwind will get a better start. Yeah, hopefully, because uh, <laughs> you don't want to be stuck on the same deck twice in a row here. Giving your opponent a two lead is pretty big. Yeah, it's also um, kind of tilting a bit also. Mm, for sure. And yeah, these guys have uh, had a long day yesterday, and today it's, um, they're halfway through the day. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're tired. And um, it's a lot of thinking. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's just totally different to, to playing from home. Because, I mean, these guys, I'm sure they play huge marathon sessions at home, uh -huh. like much longer than these tournaments. But every move you make is, is so scrutinized because of, of all the people watching mm -hmm. and that pressure you put on yourself. It's the mental energy it, it takes to play a, on a tournament. That they have, just exactly, because like, they have a live audience also. Mm -hmm. And then they have the audience at home yeah. watching um, from their YouTube and Twitch. There's much more at stake. Nice little start here. Ooh, and um, Backstab's actually not going to kill the Mana Worm in this point. Mm -hmm. Does he even... He could coin... He could coin SI and, and get rid of a Taunt. Yeah. Looks like he's just gonna weapon up and swing though. Yeah, 
Yeah, so he didn't. He decided not to go with the SI here. He's just going to hero power. And uh, Warwind is going to fill the board wow. with even more mirror images because, you know, that is really, really annoying for the <laughs> rogue. <laughs> I mean, how many hits does a rogue have to take just to get to the mana warm? <laughs> I'm actually finding this really fun <laughs> right now. Okay, well, this is fine. Yeah, um, this he just gets rid of the mana worm, and he's going to have to deal with these four mirror images. Oh, Pretty three awkward mi board state. Three <laughs> mirror images later. He has the option to remove SI7, Tonight, but you know, with so many mirror images on the field, he can protect whatever pops out. Exactly. Ooh. Wow, that's actually a pretty good... Um, Minion to get from Barnes. I mean, Thalnos is 1 1, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like you summon us the Thalnos for free. It's actually one of the better cards, in my opinion. Um, Flame Waker is probably the best. <coughs> but uh, Spell Power plus the Death Rattle card draw is just so, so insane. Yeah, I, I like the Shadow Strike here. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, he doesn't have enough mana to put up his dagger. He's gonna get through the taunts eventually. <laughs> yeah, Warwind is actually sitting comfortable behind these two mirror images. Mm. It's not time for Auctioneer yet. We could, um. What can we do? Yeah, that definitely waits until next turn. It could. Can he do Edwin? Mm. He could. Could hero power. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say he could just tomb pillager, or he could have um, hero powered, um, equipped the plus three damage on his weapon, and then coined out the Van Cleef. But yeah, maybe it's just gonna be dealt with the, the fireball. So I like the tomb pillager though, because if it dies, you get that extra extra spell in the coin. And it's a gadget and auctioneer up yeah. next. Yeah, I agree. That's also good. Someday I'll be just like you. It's just. Looking really good for Warwind right now. Let's make magic. Growing his board even bigger. And we do know that <laughs> against a rogue, you have to put down a lot of threats because they just have a hard time against huge boards. Yeah, with blade, with the blade flurry nerf, mm. um, the board clearing capabilities of the rogue has definitely gone down. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. No more blade flurry. Mm. What do they have to clear this? A fan of knives with some spell damage would be great here. Yeah. He could draw it with his auctioneer. Yeah, like a p if he draws a prep and the fan of knives. But, but that's then kind of hard to, like, that's just expecting runner, runner, the perfect cards that you need, yeah. right? <coughs> For that to actually happen, yeah, he would need to auctioneer coin coin. But he needs a two extra mana so to play the blood, blood mage. It's actually a tough turn for Leta because we can clearly see uh, Warwind's hand right here has a flame strike fireball. Anything that Leta does can be dealt with. So he's gonna make a huge fan cleave. Not the biggest, but. Still, you know, he just needs to get some bodies out on the field. <laughs> it's as big as the Drake. <laughs> and this is actually going to be, like, lethal already. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yep. I think the way Warren pl that, played that was pretty smart. Like, playing those mirror images very early on, he knew he could protect his, his squishy 1-1s mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, the hero power of the rogue, as well as just protect anything else that comes down. Yeah, I mean, it is the rogue's worst nightmare. Four mirror images and not being able to backstab and like hit like yeah. these minions like cult sorcerer, sorcerer's apprentice. Is, yeah, very difficult for that rogue. For and you're never gonna you're never gonna use spells to break through the O2 taunts. Oops, sorry. Very difficult for Leta's rogue. I meant. Mm. <laughs> well, it gets tied up one one here. Warwind bringing it back here. A little. Little wind in his sails now. Definitely, tempo mages out for Warwind with that win, and um, Leta still has his rogue. Uh, he won with his zoo earlier, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. His zoo. So he still has his rogue and 
his no druid yog. No yog a druid. No yog druid. <laughs> no druid <laughs> yog. <laughs> this like whole tournament has been filled with yogs though. Yeah. It's just I think yog should just have its own class. Let now. A, why did you let us down with no yog? We could have had more fireworks. <laughs> I think he's just trying to make a point, you know? Like, he's like, I'm going to not rely on any chant, any coin flips here at all. All right. I'm just going to do it with, with pure token and ramp. And, uh, well, he's, ma he's made it work so far. I think it'd be really insane if somebody won a tournament with bringing a token Drew that's running no yog. He did. He's going to try sure, to do yeah. it round two. Right. Round yeah. two this time. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he's probably gonna bring the same the same decks to APAC. Who knows? Yeah, it's it's a little far away, so changes in the meta might True. affect it. But that would be really cool to see, and if he does really well there as well. Let's talk a little bit about Leda. Mm -hmm. um, did you know that Leda means radar? Oh, that's what it means. Mm. Okay, that's what his name means. In Thai. Yep. Uh, I, it, well, it's, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I was told. <laughs> I'm going to have to believe my source. So here we are, um, game number three. And let us back with his rogue, Warwind, with his... This is the discard, discard zoo, right? That's yep. right. Oh, that's an easy backstab, hero power turn. Yeah, nice little clear here. And um, let us, since he's playing the classic rogue, it actually it's actually okay against um, zoos or discard zoos. Yeah, if you can get your removal going early on. He doesn't have anything. <laughs> oh, he does he is he gonna play a, a conceal to just get this eviscerate he has combo? Two in hand, so it's possible. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He just can't really allow to. The zoo board to grow at all, you know. Exactly. And next turn you have a tomb pillager to contest whatever else comes up. Like, yeah, I agree with that. Getting rid of this board. And ooh, we got another <laughs> M gang. But he like chooses not to do that. He's gonna check out what he gets from Peddler. Possibly a minion that doesn't get killed by his hero power. Mm. Okay, so at least this possessed villager has a death rattle. Thank you. Which the rogue is still gonna hit, you know. Just make sure everything's So when he fan when Leta fans later, you know, can just kill off this one one. Yeah. Direwolf Alpha looking like a pretty attractive drop onto the field here. We'll allow him to trade into the, the tomb pillager with two mana left to uh Know, drop the void walkers mm -hmm. if he wants to, or tap. But it looks like I'm actually just wondering if he ignores this tomb pillager or he just deals with it now. Hmm. Okay, so he's gonna choose to trade and then just fill up the board even more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see now. Yeah. He wants the he, tomb pillager to trade into the void walker. Uh, see, that's why I was a bit like, hmm, does he actually trade into this or not? I just can ignore yeah. it, actually. Yeah, really awkward turn five here. Doesn't <laughs> really have a straightforward play. He could sap the wolf, actually. So that... Mm. Sap yeah. the wolf, backstab hero power, uh, one of the void walkers, and his tomb pillager hits the other void walker and actually still lives. Yeah, really nice value trade for the... The Tomb Pillager. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so it was a spanner in the works of Warwind's plan here to make doom the, the Tomb Pillager trade itself mm. in. Right, they're just going to think through every single outcome. I mean, I don't see an, another play besides that. Mm. But for sure, Warwind is going to take that that, that Tomb Pillager down now. I think he's thinking about whether or not he wants to use the backstab now. Just because it's just such great, mm. great draw for the gadgets. And he doesn't actually... That's true, yeah. yeah. Actually good spotting, yeah. Just draw with the backstab later. And it doesn't matter which minion Warwind decides to 
kill right. the Tomb Pillager with. Wow. Pops the discard his Imp Gang boss here. Just gonna ignore that Tomb Pillager and make sure he doesn't get a coin, I guess. He knows that... Warwin knows that Auctioneer is coming up. Yeah, if you... But either way, he's gonna play the coin once he just suicides his Tomb Pillager. Mm -hmm. You're just thinking of the ordering here. Tomb Pillager... Uh, sorry. So Auc gadget auctions. Auctioneer... Back, back stab. Let me see what you get. Well, he's just thinking about what is he going to backstab. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh wow, nice. great. He needs a prep. He uses the coin here. And just conceals and just gets yeah. one more spell. It's going to be handy later. Some nice cards getting drawn here. SI7, Agent, Eviscerate, Banana is all extremely useful against the zoo who just trying to flood the board here and keep that advantage that way. Yeah, actually he just needs a prep though, so he can play everything next turn. Yeah, that would be good. Otherwise it's just gonna be fan and SI most likely. Or or just waiting for that spell damage maybe. playing silverware straight up. Yeah, because he doesn't have any discard uh, yeah. cards right now, so might as well just like fill the board as big as you can, threaten this rogue. It is getting to that stage though where the life total of the rogue needs to be taken into account here. It really needs to start with There's the, the board. Prep. The prep is good. Yeah. Kid out. Oh, Shiv. This is really good. And then SI, kill off another minion. And then eviscerate. Yeah. Actually, no, he doesn't have enough mana to eviscerate, sorry. <laughs> Just save it for next turn. And you know what? His gadget son lives. His auctioneer is still alive. Just draw him more car cards later. With the knife juggler, though, some good juggles could happen here and maybe try and swing things back in Orwin's favor, but looks like Leda has a comfortable hold over the lead here. That cycle with the gadgets, and it's the gadgets survive three turns now, and it's cycled so many cards that right. uh, it's so painful. Yeah, Leda can't actually push for face here yet because no. um, Warwin, like is so close to killing him. Mm -hmm. if, if he gets a Doom Guard, it's the end for Leda, so Still needs to let ne still needs to clear off this board, but he's not mm. going to kill off his auctioneer just yet. He's gonna use spells before killing it off, if ever. Yeah. But actually, it's not even he doesn't even need to kill off his auctioneer. He's just going to SI agent and then make a, a favorable trade with his mm -hmm. other SI. Yeah, <laughs> then he can also plop down to Azure Drake for extra draw. Oh, sorry. What was I thinking? Hmm? I thought he already played the SI and, or and still had five <laughs> mana left. I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. But man, this okay. is a hard place to be now. Actually, Leda has lethal next turn. Yeah. So, um, Warwind has to... Like, he has such limited... Um, reach as well, because he's only wanting one power overwhelming. Tough situation for Warwind. It's like, does he tap and then like? If he could tap first. He's definitely he definitely knows his opponent is close to lethal, if not already has it. So. You are not the boss of me. He's okay. Thinking about okay. Oh Let's wow. Go. I mean, you might as well go all in, right? If your opponent. He's able to kill you, he does. Oh, he but it's so up. risky. Oh. Oh. oh! Uh oh. But I feel. Mm. Well, that's going to be Letta's. Letta taking it. That was a very strange turn because it didn't have anything to do, really. No, not really. Leroy's gonna take it. So that's two wins for Leda. 
Yeah. And, and One more, and then he's gonna be facing Chonger. Yeah, will uh, the no Yog token druid be able to be able to uh, take the win here for Leda? Because that, that's the last deck he's got. Mm -hmm. And then he's in the lower bracket finals. Four wind on the brink of uh, getting eliminated, so he really has to step it up now. Yeah, I mean, okay, against his Leda's druid. A war, a war, his discard lock could do okay. Mm -hmm. His dragon warrior could do okay too. And mm -hmm. I guess also even the tempo mage. Oh well, he already won with it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either deck he could go with any really. So yeah, anything could actually happen. Warwind could still take it back. Yeah. I mean, so maybe going for dragon warrior. It's such a feared deck these days. Um, could be a good way to start this out, this comeback. You can see the, the Thai crowd downstairs. Actually, that's just like downstairs for us anyways. <laughs> Cheering on Leda, of course. Do you have any um, predictions of who you think will win this tournament? Oh man, it's looking... R I mean, for this series itself, I guess it's looking really good for Leda. Like, Warwind's looked... Like, I'm just looking at his... Uh, like face camera and everything, he's looking really down and it might just be the way he kind of approaches the game, like <laughs> he might just have a very serious face, but he's looking kind of, I don't know, it's kind of discouraging the, w the way he's looking at the screen the whole time, <laughs> but uh, overall, I I'll mean, have to look at him again next time, Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really notice <laughs> that he was super discouraged, but yeah, um, I feel like Leda has a chance oh, to take this tournament, definitely. Yeah. I mean, he's got the, the energy of the crowd behind him. He's a yeah. local Thai player. He's got. It'd be, it'd be amazing for him to win in front of his local crowd like this. They'll probably carry him. <laughs> <laughs> just some Dragon Ball Z level. Just everybody giving, him his en <laughs> giving them his energy. Definitely. Yeah, and of course, there's also the after party, which with all the Hearthstone players. Lo oh, probably yeah. looking forward to that party. <laughs> so this is going to be game number four? Yeah, four already. Protect the wild. Warren's going to give his uh, zoo lock another shot here. Yeah, his discard zoo versus the no yog dru druid. That's a great starting hand. Well, we'll just throw the living roots. Not like, not the best starting hand, but like living roots against zoo is good to have. I mean, because if you play it, it's possible he plays a plays a what to do? a void walker, which is kind of kind of bad. I mean, I guess you can trade the next turn with the, the hero power. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you're really looking for that wild growth turn too. Yeah. But you could rave an idol and get it. maybe get one there, um, huh. or a wrath that could help him. Warwind going to. Coin out the Dark Peddler, since uh, playing the Abusive Sergeant would be kind of silly. Nothing quite yet to, to, to innervate out. Yeah. That could be a possible next turn as your Drake. True, I actually agree with that. And he's just going to shapeshift here. I, I find that better than Raven idling for one mana and having one excess mana. Yeah, and you also save a Sapling here for future trades. Makes it kind of awkward for your opponent to, to play anything with one health. This is also a weird turn. He might just have to yeah. play Malkazar's Imp in this turn, even though... And, and maybe... Yeah, yeah, just, yeah just, the, just the Imp. He can't even play the Abusive Sergeant. Because I was going to say is Soul Fire? No. Like <laughs> Soul Fire is, like, valuable. Just, yeah, it is. But there's, like... Yeah, it just feels bad to play an Abusive Sergeant. Yeah. I feel like he needs to... Um, Warwin needs to get all his minions down so that his Doom Guard could actually discard the Silverware and Golem mm -hmm. when the time comes. Yeah. Leda is has probably has to innervate out this Drake here. Looks like mm -hmm. that is one option. Or he could Raven Idol. See what he gets from this Raven Idol. I like the Moonblade portal because it helps heal himself and you know, that's just, zoos can just do crazy things and they just 
go face most of the time, so mm -hmm. yeah. Moonblade Portal is a good backup card to have. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna see the Councilman here on his turn three, of course. Yeah. Like I said, get down those minions before Doom Guarding. Yeah, and it's also one of those minions that really kind of demands an answer early on. Like, you don't want to let that Councilman grow in its attack power. Right. It's kind of awkward, because, like, for Leda at this turn, because... It's like, do you innervate to play the Drake? It's not a good innervate to Moonglade Portal yet, because mm. you want that heal value. Yeah. And it's not going to be good to heal a Panther, for <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, because next turn, you know, the, the Councilman's bound to get at least what? plus one. Mm -hmm. So it's going to trade in there. Yeah, maybe he actually should have um, innervated out his Druid oh, looks like he's last gonna do it, though. turn. Yeah. I mean, the six cost minions to be pretty big here. Oh! The oh high main my comes goodness. out. Probably one of the best cards he could have hoped oh for there. Oh my gosh. I've never gotten a Savannah high main from my Moonglade portal. That's not fair. <laughs> and I mean, like, with four mana to try and deal with this, this is insanely difficult. And even if you get rid of the initial high main body, the two two hyenas, the two 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 hyenas. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm so oh my gosh. This is gonna cause Warwind so much trouble. Everything was looking pretty good until that high main came out. Oh, oh actually. Yeah, he's gonna have he to deal with it. Yeah, with abusive sergeant, and then he can um, soul fire the three two, mm -hmm. and hope. And just hope maybe the silverware golem will be discarded. Yeah, I mean, after seeing Gogon Singh <gasps> go for those 50 50s. Nope. Oh. The power overwhelming was thrown away, which isn't too bad. At least he has his Doom Guard, because this guarantees that the silverware golem will be discarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. If he, draw, if he even draws a second silverware golem, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. Double silver whale, silver, silver wear golem. What is that? I'm such a mouthful. <laughs> Here we go. Is it gonna be? Oof. Into end boss, but still worth it. Still to worth it. Yep. He wants to clear that as your break. Oh, is that innervate wisps time? Hmm. Wisps of the old gods could yeah. do really well actually when he when he plays savage roar later. Yeah. And just like three, of, two of them would actually take out the Doom Guard and the Silverware mm -hmm. Golem. It's super hard for the, the Warlock to remove all these one ones, but Void Walker is a pretty nice bug to have in between the one ones and the rest of his creatures. Uh, the Savage Roar could uh, definitely deal with this though. Oh yeah, totally forgot about that one. Just ignore the village, pil uh, the possessed pillager. Oh, he's actually trading. He knows. He knows Leda runs a savage, ro savage roar. Mm -hmm. But still gonna do it. Still the play here. Yeah, the trades are so good. He's gonna clear the board. Probably except for that, that possessed villager, as you said. Oh, no, he's gonna. Uh, his face will go. But I think the, the other minions should actually go face. But okay. okay. I mean, now. The zoo literally has one card in hand. He's gonna life tap to get another, but yeah, Leda's going to make sure that he, that Warwind has zero minions on the board. Yeah, I think he also just wanted to make sure Spandrel lived because if the power overwhelming or something happened. That's true. Although we did see you see the only one he has get discarded. So. Oh my God! You know what? Oh, Scenarius is gonna be so good with yes. Spandrel. That's coming up next turn if it doesn't get removed here. Yeah. He needs to draw into a Doom Guard or something. He's definitely valuing his 1-1 one -one Wisp because he knows that Scenarius is coming up. Ah, oh, that's uh, not going to do it. That's really, yeah. Uh, Orwin kind of chuckling to himself in disbelief. Flame Imp, damage my face. So let's see it. Let's see the Scenarius buff oh, with the Fandral. Oh, this is broken. <laughs> yeah. 
And I don't think there's anything he can draw here to really come back into this. Oh! Corbin oh. looks exasperated. And Leta actually looks pretty unaffected. He doesn't... He's just kind of sit, casually sitting back in his chair. He's like, yeah. Oh, now he cracks a smile. There we go. I think he's finally realized the crowd in front of him is ecstatic. Aww. And he's going to go to the lower bracket finals here. And face Chonger. That was, like, actually really fast. Yeah. Every time it's, like, 3-1, I feel like it's really fast. Not as fast as 3-0. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Most of the most of my games have been three two. So. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the, the series have been super close this tournament round. It's kind of interesting to see that so and deep in a tournament, people are getting sweeped. Y'all games are just really really long. That's true. It's like yeah. spell, spell, spell. Just kill that minion and then y'all. Uh, yeah, it's very long games. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good job, Letta. He's uh he's been winning and just winning and winning. Oh my gosh! And as you can see. The Thai people are super hyped for Leda. <laughs> Look at that one guy. <laughs> He's feeling the energy, man. He's dancing He's so to, to Leda's victory, <laughs> basking in its glory. Yeah, well, um, maybe we have a couple of highlights, um, or maybe just one highlight. Yeah, maybe. That we're going to see. <coughs> but man, I think Leda has to win one more because he still he was guaranteed 500 now. But he has, to, he has to win another one to, to get into the $1,000 prize pool money there. Yeah. So, yeah, there's actually going to be no replay there. But I mean, I don't think there was actually any, like, super, super, like, amazing plays, probably because there was no Yogg. They were pretty straightforward. <laughs> like, I think the, the games were pretty straightforward. Like, one deck get an advantage and then snowball out of control. Right. Right. But, yeah. Good job to Leta, and we're going to see more of him. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, you're going to be casting that, aren't you? Or yes, I am. I'm going to be following Leta into the lower bracket finals against Chonger, as you said before. That's going to be an interesting one because, uh, as I said, like that, the winning the next one not only gets you in the grand final, but guarantees you a thousand dollars worth of prize money here. And uh, we're pretty excited to get into that. We'll uh, be right back after this short break. So, viewers, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Hearthstone action.